Yuri and Robert, along with their like-minded companions, have been organizing weekly protest actions in support of Ukraine for nearly two years now. Today, they gathered in the Capitol Hill, urging lawmakers to give the green light for continued support to Ukraine. Uh, not as much a protest as basically sending a message uh, to Congress, to and our representatives in the House and our senators to uh, continue uh, the support for Ukraine. Both protesters are just a part of a larger group of individuals known as Ukraine Rally DC. Its members gather daily at the government buildings in Washington, waving Ukrainian flags. Uh, it's, not an or it's not one of the nonprofit organizations, of which there are many in the area. Uh, it's just a group of people who met each other doing rallies in support of Ukraine. Robert doesn't have any Ukrainian roots, but refers to himself as a Ukrainian by choice. He shares that among his family and friends in Washington and Boston, where he moved from in 2021, everyone expresses a willingness to support the Ukrainian people and Ukraine's armed forces. Many Americans, including myself, are um, very much in support. It's a, if you check the polls, it's a majority of the people in the United States who support continued aid for Ukraine. So uh, we're, uh, so we're here to uh, let the, um, those support Ukraine and wish to advance Ukraine supporting legislation to provide necessary supplemental funding uh, that the data bar supports and to encourage everyone all across the United States uh, to call their representative and call, call their senators. The protesters are steadfast in their mission to expert soft power, aiming to daily remind congressional members that Russia persists in causing casualties among Ukrainians. We uh, felt a fair amount of support from uh, members of Congress that were we are traveling back and forth from the office to the house. If it was just a vote on Ukraine simply, I think uh, it would pass easily in the Senate and in the House. But because uh, the issues have been linked to each other, like our uh, very important border security issue, uh, the uh, divisions uh, make it more difficult to predict uh, what the outcome there be. Yudi is a cardiologist. Through his activism, he aims to win hearts and minds of American lawmakers. In addition to his protests, he contributes to fundraising efforts for tactical medical support for Ukrainian soldiers. Finding a spare moment in his busy patient schedule, he strives to use it beneficially for the homeland and his ancestors. We are cautiously optimistic. Uh, there are some signals that uh, they were moving toward a compromise rather than away from a compromise. But in Congress, it's very difficult to predict what the outcome will be. But in my heart, I'm cautiously optimistic because uh, it's very difficult for me uh, subjectively to accept the uh, the opposite outcome. Members of Ukraine Rally DC pledged to continue gathering before the U.S. Congress building until President Biden's request for the allocation of $61 billion for Ukraine is approved. You know, people come up and, you know, walk by and say, Slava Ukraine, and, and we said, Heroia Slava. Uh, and one guy uh, walked by and said, Slava Ukraini, Heroia Slava, and he goes, Slava Nazi, smart what about Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Mike Kaufman, UATV News from Washington, D.C.